what's up guys okay guys so it is alternate day fasting week five week five guys and let me tell you something it's not really alternate day fasting i was fasting like every other other day sometimes i wouldn't even fast at all i would just do a full 24 hours for the whole week just eat every 24 hours i'm just using this as a tool to help me stay within my calorie range okay so but i am still fasting almost you can say almost every other day but sometimes when i don't feel like doing it i just don't do it y'all don't go crazy with it whatever you're doing don't go crazy with it if you feel like eating one day just go in and eat okay so anyway let me tell you okay so i bought these scrubs right a year ago that i have one now and i said you know what i see a difference in my body i'm getting leaner my stomach getting certain areas of my body is not protruding out anymore all of my bras literally i had to take in and sew in because it was just getting too big so i said okay so i know i'm losing some inches over here in my breast area i know i lost a lot of inches in my back area and my legs are looking a lot small i'm starting to see that gap in between my legs so i said you know what let me try on these scrubs that i've been waiting for a whole year to wear so i put it on today and i can fit it i it slipped on like butter it slipped on like nobody's business like a regular pair of pants where when i bought these i could barely fit my thighs in them they were so tight to where you can see it was scrunching up in the back and it was just uncomfortable it just didn't look cute and then the shirt itself when i put it on it was just so tight around the bra area now i can put a shirt on with no problem and also wear a t-shirt underneath it you guys i am so happy i wanted to cry when i put these things on i can actually wear them now I'm telling you guys, the consistencies, be consistent, stay consistent, don't, don't cheat, you know, and also eat all of your calories, don't go so low to wear because that does not work, I tried it, I know for myself, I have to eat my calories, and I do zigzag calories as well, I am using the Lose It app, it says that my calorie intake is 1,230 something but according to the calorie counter it's more than that so I've been using for the last two weeks the calories on the calorie counter and I've just been using lose it just to track my food and I just track my calories that way so I've been eating all of my calories I've been trying to eat all of my calories it's very hard for me to eat all of my calories because I'm not I'm telling you one meal a day does it for me sometimes two meals a day maybe a snack but i'm telling you the more you would fast and all of that your i think your stomach does get smaller because i have to fight to eat sometimes and so yeah sometimes i have to fight to eat so it's a struggle to continue to um eat and stay within the calorie range that i'm supposed to stay in and eat the calories that i'm supposed to eat in order for my body to be efficient and all of that because i noticed that when i don't eat my calories and i'm trying to restrict them too low i'm not losing any weight nothing's happening and that's not a good thing i remember when i was trying to lose weight before and i restricted my calories so low and i was doing all of these crazy fasting i lost like one pound two pounds that month but then when i stopped because i got fasting fatigue and i was just getting so tired of it um when i stopped doing that and i started eating my calories and stopped fasting so much i found that i lost more weight in a month than i did doing all of that crazy fasting so now i eat all of my calories i do do the alternate day fasting and 24 hour intermittent fasting as a tool to uh just continue to train myself and be disciplined and just just to stay on track but i noticed that i had to cut back on one of my alternate day fasting days during the week instead of doing it three days a week i do it maybe two sometimes two and a half i've been doing that for about like two weeks now i did it last week and alternate day fasting week three i think i started scaling back a little bit because i noticed that i was eating my calories and i was doing a lot of i started to incorporate a lot of strength training exercises and um i didn't want to 
sabotage anything. And I know that I had to eat my calories. And if alternate day um, fasting was um, prohibiting me from doing that, I had to scale back. And also, I noticed that on my fast feasting days, when I was doing the alternate day fasting, I would try to make up for the calories that I know that I'm not eating and I felt I started to feel sick and I don't like that feeling so I rather just not do that and have like a half eating day if that makes sense which which is my 24 hour intermittent fasting and do it that way and when I add up all of the the fasting time I noticed that doing it that way I'm fasting the same amount of hours as if I was doing the alternate day fasting every other day. That's making sense. So I'm getting my fasting hours in and I'm fasting a length of time where it's doing good for my cells so I can reap the benefits that way as well. Um, I'm staying consistent with my exercises. I'm working out like almost every day. I do give myself a rest day. I, when I do exercise, I concentrate on areas like I'll have a leg day, an arm and back day, which incorporates cardio. I do a little bit of cardio every time I do work out. So this is working for me and I'm just so happy that I'm actually seeing with my own eyes the change and also other people are seeing it too because every time I go to work and I see somebody that I haven't seen in a while they're like oh you know you're losing a, you're losing weight I'm like I hope so <laughs> before I didn't see it but now I definitely see it so with that guys thanks for watching like and subscribe I hope this is helping you you guys give yourself some mercy give yourself some grace just keep sticking with it you know don't expect gains and stuff overnight it's going to take time it took me what I started January 23rd and now I'm just starting to see actual results and I'm telling you when you do start to see your results it happens quickly like last week it was like um, I saw changes in my back and everything and my legs and then a couple of days later it's like I see more you know it happens quickly it takes a long time for it to happen as you stay consistent but when it happens you'll see immediately and it was like oh snap where did that come from so just be patient be patient with yourself be patient with the process and look how look how loose this is oh my gosh this used to be so tight in this area I'm telling you guys with that, guys, thanks for watching, and use your clothes that you want to fit in as your guide. Stay off the scale. I still, I'm still not going on the scale. I'm not going on the scale. <laughs> I'll probably go on sometime in April to see, but I'm using clothes and, and, and things as my determination to whether or not I'm progressing or not. So with that, guys, you be blessed. Talk to you guys later. Bye.